Let's talk about something we are all familiar with, strings. We used to have those beautiful functions, to uppercase, to lowercase, and capitalize. Under the hood, they implemented with something called locales, which is a cultural property of how days of the week are named, how days are formatted, and how some letters are uppercase and lowercase. And those functions depend on the default locale of the computer, which means that these functions, uppercase, for example, can return different results in Japan in Australia. We always knew that depending on that behavior, especially in such a simple functions, is not a great thing. But we thought we can get away with it until all coroutines code compiled in Turkey stopped working, and some code with arrays. Error here is really suspicious, like no such method error, int array of. The problem is that this method existed from Kotlin 1.0, even earlier, so it doesn't make much sense. But if we'll start digging, we'll find out that there's weird letter, letter i with a weird dot. Sometimes it's not here. So what is the problem? In fact, in Turkish language, there are two letters i, dotted i and dotless i. And if you have English lowercase letter i and you uppercase it in Turkish, you get dotted uppercase letter i, which is not an English one, and vice versa. When our compiler engineer wanted to generate a function called like int array, they probably had int constant somewhere, they uppercase it or lowercase it, and they received incorrect results. Which leads us to our reason number one, why we can have nice things. Human languages are hard. 